It's a fairy tale of brave magical creatures who've come to rid the world of the monsters who reside in the closet or under the bed. It's a premise that might sound familiar to those who are avid readers of bedtime stories and fantasies. But this particular audiobook, The Legend of the Burbles, is truly unique with beautiful original musical accompaniment, not to mention being produced by a Grammy nominee and winner you know it's a good story. Mm -hmm. So here to tell us more about the book is Gloria Domina. She is the producer and illustrator. Thank you so much for being here with us this afternoon. Thank you. Thank you for having me here. So let's start off with, what is a burble? A burble is a magical creature. He's really brave. Uh, he stands about a foot tall or less. Okay. He has a head that's shaped like an egg in white and wears luxurious colored regal gowns and carries magic wands and he rids the monsters from under the beds and in the closets. Oh wow. And I mean, we do want to note that this is the book cover here in front of us and you actually, as illustrator, you actually painted that. How did you get into this business? How did I get into this business? I've been in the business of producing for about 40 years. Wow. And um, this year is, um, I, I just did my 17th album, I think it was. And um, about four years ago, I met Teresa Radke, who wrote The Legend of the Burbles. And um, I was at an event at PBS that she was uh, hosting. And uh, we met and then, you know, briefly, became acquaintances and then last year uh, she had wrote the book and she was looking for an illustrator so um, I told her that I might be interested and we had a few meetings and a few talks and I went from editing with her to illustrating with her to promoting with her and um, now it's an audiobook and we're really proud of it it has just um, been booming really and people mm. are really liking the story but Teresa Radke um, she just wrote a wonderful story. Mm. Yeah. So uh, what other works have you done? What have I done? Um, like I said I, I, I do children's albums and I've done mm. a jazz album and this year did a um, classical compendium album Aquarium Rhapsody with this uh, Steve Polara and the Cool Beans Ensemble. Mm. And uh, I've produced many shows um, in the past. I actually just retired two years ago from doing a very large music awards, um, the 17th largest regional music awards in, in the nation, basically. Mm. And um, I was a wedding planner, and I do write, and I, I'm a songwriter, and I write poetry, and I paint, and a few years back, I had the honor of being Pennsylvania's Artist of the Year for adults, 18 really? and over, and my artwork hung in the rotunda of, the, of Harrisburg. So that was exciting, but I guess my greatest joy is my family and, you know, all yeah. my grandkids. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now, what do you think it is about the legend of Burbles that makes it such a great story? I think that um, everybody growing up was, had a fear of the dark, had a fear of monsters mm -hmm. in the closets or monsters under the bed. And um, maybe if they had a burble in their life or, or knew of burbles, it would help them feel better. Funny thing is that after the story was written, people were coming to, to Teresa and I and saying, wow, this is like a really a metaphor because as an adult, I have my own monsters that I deal with. And like, this is like, you know, a, a story for everybody, not just for children. Interesting. And, mm -hmm. and, and the story just recently won an award. Yeah, it won the Napa Award, which is a national award, and it's juried. And um, Teresa and I are very happy about that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I will say that, you know, we had a really great team. Rick Michaels, who is actually a local DJ on the Hawk Radio, he was our narrator. Mm -hmm. And we uh, produced it at the um, Spectra Sound Recording Studio in Quakertown. Uh, Jim McGee um, was wonderful with all of his sound effects. Great. And Craig Castilnick did all the, the original music, and I think it brings it to life. All right, real quickly, where can folks pick up the audiobook? Oh, it's on Spotify, it's on BNN, it's, it's all over. If you Google Legend of the Burbles, mm -hmm. the whole mm -hmm. list of everywhere will come up.
<laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Gloria Domina, thank you so much thank for you. coming thank you. in. And congratulations. congratulations. Thank you. The thank legend you. of the burble, which is our right here. Yep, right yes. on our wrist. Yes. <laughs> we are protected. <laughs> and thank you to Teresa Radke for writing a wonderful, wonderful story. Absolutely.